I like those. The filming was very difficult. The and budget was very big. The budget <laughs> was very big. I didn't see a lot of it, but the budget was very big. Um, and uh, Jim's, uh, James Cameron, the director's films have been very successful For and instance. very exciting. Aliens, mm -hmm. Terminator. And uh, so I think everybody waits to see what he's conjured up this time. And he's, he's, uh, he's done it, I think. Even yeah. you don't know for sure what he's conjured up. No, I don't. I don't. The, the, I haven't seen the final edit, the final cut of the film. So uh, I don't know all that's left. There was a considerable amount of footage that, of course, was, for time's sake, unusable. Because I'm sure it would be about a three-hour film if... Uh, what exactly is the abyss? And... What's down there? The abyss is, uh, actually, there is the, the Cayman Trough, which goes down 26,000 feet or something in the, down in the Cayman Islands. And it actually does it's straight down. And I, I, when we learned to dive, it, we did learn to dive in the Cayman Islands. And um, at one point, we were just at 600 feet. The, the drop was 600 feet. And as a diver, one just looks down and sees this lovely blue color and, and that we, we were already at, say, 90 or 100 feet. And that's... And then you it, ask it just yourself, goes down. I wonder what is down say, there. I respect water. I love water and nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't second guess it. All right. You know. Never mind nature. Tell me about the working conditions. <laughs> they were unnatural. Um, the working conditions. Uh, well, all in all, it, it was basically pretty uncomfortable. We we're, were sitting uh, in a studio now. Yeah. And you have shot many films in a sound stage. Yeah. This was a tank, basically. A lot of it was a tank, yeah. And um, if it was underwater, say, in, in the helmets, which we dove in, the uh, Jim was on an underwater a diver address system, so he had a speaker. He had a microphone inside his helmet, as did every actor. Everybody else was on scuba gear and uh, floating about. And you'd see cameras floating and light lighting fixtures floating around how long might you be uh, below for at a stretch well certain people could if I, in, in a submarine it was one thing i you know because that basically one just had to deal with the the close con the close conditions and the heat because the submarines got to be you know 95 degrees or whatever and you're on, in a costume as well in the helmets um the the the, mag the longest time i was down there was about two hours and 15 minutes Safely, what I could what I could withstand was a really about an hour and a half because I would, as I said to Jim once, he said my favorite thing, his favorite quote of mine was, "My mind has just left my body because I would just get so tired that I, I couldn't concentrate anymore." So how would you cope if uh, if 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 somebody says take twelve and you've got to do the scene over again? Well. There's something about hearing the word action. You just know, because then you know it's going to get done. It's the waiting in between, wherein I, I would literally just kind of sit there and this little voice in my head would be saying, you're fine, everything's fine, nothing, nothing, nothing will happen. Out. The safety divers are there and always did have a safety diver floating above, just out of camera shot. It sounds to me like I would like to see a movie about how they made the movie. But we do have yes. a clip, as a matter of oh, fact. Oh, yeah? yeah? That is the movie. <laughs> Not the movie okay. about the movie. Here okay. we meet your character. She played, she's an engineer. Yes. You are the most stubborn woman I ever knew. Yes, I am. But I need you to believe me right now. Now, come on, look at me. Come on. Am I stressed out? Do I have any symptoms of pressure sickness, tremor, slurred speech? No. No. But this is me, Lindsay, okay? You know me better than anybody in the world. Now, watch my lips. I saw these things. I touched one of them, and it wasn't some clunky steel can like we would build. It glided. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So, does this have a happy ending? <laughs> okay, the real life story. The making of this film. Would you do it again? Mm, no, it doesn't need to be done again. It's been done. <laughs> Did, was it actually physically dangerous? Is there some kind of actor's code that says that you have to, to do it, even if it's risky? Uh, no, I think there's always any human being uh, can say, actor or no, this is, this is too dangerous. But I don't think anybody anticipated what would have been required. I know that the men, Ed in particular, had some things to do that were, uh, 
were risky. They were risky. I mean, you won't, you know, you couldn't say otherwise. Well, Truly. I certainly hope it proves to be worth your trouble. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Till yeah. next time. Thank you.